Hey, my loves, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Before we get started today, I just wanted to do a few shout outs. These are to people who have YouTube channels that I watch on the regular who, and I really, really enjoy. So the first shout out is going to go to lovely Linda over at Hands at Cook. Um, what can I say about Linda? She tells you to pull up a chair and that's how you really feel. You really feel like you're with her. She has a plethora of recipes hundreds of recipes and some of them are really old passed down from friends and family and things that her family enjoy the camaraderie between her husband and her you can just feel the love it's so endearing and sammy he's hilarious so go and check out linda linda thank you so much for all of your support i really do appreciate it and um, and i just love watching your channel now, the other one I wanted to do a shout out to is Kendall Lawrence over at Head Chef Mom. Kendall has a lot of recipes as well, and some of them are easy to do on a weeknight. Kendall has two sons and a husband, so she's cooking for three guys, so she knows what it's like. Um, you have to try her caramelized onions and beer to die for, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Another channel I've been watching for quite some time is a Canadian, and her name is Tammy, and she does the channel called Yo-Yo Max 12. Tammy is an impeccable baker. OMG. She makes some brilliant creations. She also does weeknight meals and regular savory meals. Some things are complicated. Some things are easy. And the great thing about Tammy is that she'll tell you like it is. If it's crap, she'll tell you, I'm not doing this again. If it's good, but she can change something, she'll also say, well, next time I do this. So I really, really like Tammy for that reason. And she has loads of videos and she has playlists. Guys, she's incredible. Another Canadian that I've come across who cracks me up from Alberta, Cowtown, is Joanna Dinder. She cracks me up. She has a live feed now every Friday, and I try to tune in when I can. She's hilarious. She does cooking videos. She'll also do a few hauls of things that she's purchased. But the main reason why I watch her is because she's so honest, and she'll just tell you like it is. So... I love you, Joanna. You're funny. Now, um, two guys i got to give a shout out to is Kevin and Ralph over at Cavalcade of Food. Love these guys. They're a good laugh and they, they have retro recipes. They cook from their retro cottage in the summer and in the winter from their home in Michigan. Um, they collect retro appliances and even retro stoves and they do a swap out at their cottage. Guys, watch their videos. They're so amazing. They're so much fun. And I just love watching those retro things. My God, they're so nice. <laughs> um, another one I want to give a shout out to is somebody from Jolly Old England. Um, her channel is called Easy to Cook at Home. And she has some great videos out there. Some really good tips as well. And if you want to make the be best Yorkshire pudding ever, tune into her channel. Right. So those are all of my shout outs. I want to thank you all so very much. The links to all of your channels will be below in my description box. That being said, you're probably wondering what the heck are we doing, Dan? Well, on this episode, or this segment rather, of Memories of Malta, we're going to be doing something called Mimli Clamari. And basically what that means is a stuffed calamari or stuffed squid. It's light enough, but hearty enough, and it's a great summer dish to put on the grill. So guys, let's get in my kitchen and make Mimli Clamari. <laughs> Countertops. The first thing I have going here is I've diced an onion <clears throat> and I'm using these um, red sweet peppers. You can use a bell pepper. So I have three in total and I'm just, you don't need to remove the seeds but they're not hot but they could be a little bit bitter. So I'm just going to take them out in my garbage bowl here and simply Give it a slice. You do not have to clean these out, as I said, because they're sweet peppers. Just wash them. Make sure you wash them. And then you want to dice these in pretty small pieces. What we're doing is we're making part of the stuffing that we're going to stuff our calamari with. So I'm going to continue with this, and then I'm going to put this in a pan with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and saute them lightly, and I'll bring you all back. Hey guys, so now what I've gone ahead and done is I've added in some um, garlic that was finely minced, 
So that doesn't burn. You put that in near the end. Everything smells and looks great at this point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit it with some finely chopped flat leaf parsley. And I use a bit of the stems, guys, because they have the most flavor and nutrients, believe it or not. So that parsley is in. I'm going to turn my heat off. And I'm just going to let this rest and come to room temperature. And we'll put together the rest of our hey stuffing. Hey, guys, so we're going to continue on with our stuffing. What I have here are Maltese sausage, Salset Maltia. Um, they're beautiful. You can actually eat these raw because they are cured with all the spices and fennel that's in them. Now, I can appreciate if you cannot get Maltese sausage where you live, you can use a chorizo or you can use any um, cured or your favorite sausage. Now, I need to remove the casing. So it's simply a matter, and I hope I'm showing you, is getting a serrated knife, going down your sausage, and removing the casing, like so. Then you have the sausage meat. You can plop that in your bowl. So I'm going to show you once more. So serrated knife down the sausage to slice it open. Then grab a hold of the casing and it should peel right away from the meat. That's it. And you, you can just discard the casing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this up and I'm going to add our pepper, onion, garlic, and parsley mixture to it. And I'll bring you back and show you what I do. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've mixed my mixture together, as you can see here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit it with some cracked black pepper. Quite a bit. Be generous with the pepper. And just a bit, not too much, of sea salt to taste, guys. And then what I'm going to do with a clean hand, which I've just washed, is mix this through again. <clears throat> now the great thing about Maltese sausage, as I said, you can actually eat this raw because it's cured by the spices. So speak to your butcher, see what you can get if you can't find Maltese sausage. Um, like I said, chorizo works really, really well on this as well. Um, but I'm going to actually taste it for a seasoning. Mmm, that's perfect. I don't need anything else in there. It's going to give my hand a quick wash because I taste it right with my fingers. The peppers and onions are great. Gonna go in with an egg. And this is why I tasted it before. I mean, you can, you could have, but now I'm not a big fan of cheese and seafood. However, because there's sausage in here, and I smell cheese, love our job on Tahak or grated cheese. I'm gonna go in just a little bit, not crazy. I would say maybe two tablespoons or so. And again, using the tools that God gave you, give this another thorough mix. If you find your mixture is too wet, you can actually add some breadcrumbs to here, um, but you do kind of want it moist so it acts as a binding agent. So it should hold together, but not be very dry and not be soupy. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to place this in the refrigerator to firm up. And then I'll bring you back and it will be time to stuff our calamari. Guys, before I put this in the fridge, I wanted to talk to you about quickly about some options. If you like it spicy, you can go ahead and add a bit of cayenne pepper, which I did. Just about a half a teaspoon or so. Other options you could do in here, it would be some chopped olives. Or what I'm going to do is capers. Now these are salty, so again, 
That's why we went easy on the salt. These are my homemade capers, guys. I actually picked and brined these myself. If you want to know how you can make capers, even if you live in a climate that doesn't have caper bushes, I shall put that link below as well. Okay, so there are a couple of options there for you. Hey gang, so I have my calamari here, which um, I've washed and patted dry with some paper towel, kitchen towel. Now, if you get fresh calamari, you can ask your ironmonger to clean it for you and remove the quill. Um, there may still be a quill inside, which is not a problem because it just pulls out effortlessly. Okay, so I have my four calamari here. I'm going to set three aside on some paper towel for now and show you this one. So calamari or a squid is basically a tube shape and you might be used to um, getting it in a restaurant where it's cut into like rings, like a rubber band. <laughs> and what they actually do is they turn this inside out to do that. However, we are going to be stuffing these beautiful things. They are not fishy, guys. If you've not had calamari, I encourage you to try it um, because they are a sweet um, fish or creature of the sea. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start stuffing our calamari. Now, the trick is you do not want to overstuff your calamari because you run the risk of bursting them. So, slowly and gently with a small spoon or a fork or whatever you prefer start stuffing your calamari. And just give it a, a gentle push down. Don't overpack it because as I said, um, you run the risk of them bursting on you. Probably use your fingers too, which may be easier to do. And I hope I'm showing you guys Now, I'm going to leave a little bit of space, as I said, for the calamari to expand and so they don't burst. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to secure the end with a toothpick, kind of like in a sewing action. Just be gentle with it and they'll work for you. The bottom may be open, um, but you don't really have to worry about it. I don't think much of the stuffing will come out. So I'm going to continue stuffing my calamari and then I'll bring you back when they're all stuffed. Alright guys, so all of my calamari are stuffed and I pinned them with a toothpick. This guy had a little bit of a bigger opening on the bottom of the tear, so I just pinned that. <clears throat> Just keep an eye on them. Now, what I have in my mortar and pestle are some fennel seeds, which I'm gonna grind a bit. You can get these already ground. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can do it in your food processor or your spice grinder or in a baggie with a heavy pot. Just enough. You don't need them totally pounded. Oh, that smells just wonderful. If you've not had fennel before, guys, it has a bit of a licorice anise flavor. You can't omit this, but it's quite synonymous in Maltese cooking, and it grows wild here, like weeds. So I've gone ahead and pulverized my fennel, to which I want to now go ahead and season my calamari. So, I'm going to start with some pepper. And a 
little bit of sea salt. Pepper makes a mess everywhere. Just a bit of sea salt. We don't need a lot. A little bit of garlic granule, or you can use um, garlic powder if you prefer. Just don't use garlic salt, guys, because there's enough salt. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead with my fennel. Now, I'm going to season both sides of these. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top, and I'm going to put them on a plate and put them in the fridge just to chill out. And I'll bring you back and we'll start grilling. All right, gang, it's time to put our calamari that's stuffed into our grill pan. So what I have in here is just a half a teaspoon of olive oil. And don't forget, I have um, drizzled some olive oil on top of my calamari. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my calamari in. Straight away, I can smell those spices hit that hot oil and heat. So, you do not want to leave the stove at this point. They do not take long to cook. You're going to keep an eye on them. We're going to turn them. And I'll be right back and show you what they look like when they're all grilled up. Guys, you can see the calamari has puffed up a bit. And that's why we didn't overstuff it. So, we're going to go ahead and give them a flip. Beautiful color. And at this point, the cherry tomatoes go in. They were fresh off the vine. And then we'll be back. Hey guys, so at this point, our cherry tomatoes are nicely blistered. Our calamari is browned on all sides, so what I'm going to do is go in with a little bit of lemon zest, just a bit, and then I'm going to hit it with some fresh lemon juice. salt on the tomatoes. And guys, we're ready to serve up. Hey guys, our stuffed calamari is done. They're seared to perfection. I have the charred cherry tomatoes. And what I have here are some roasted potatoes with onion. Um, which is a take <clears throat> on the patata il form. If you want to see the full recipe of this, please comment below. I have shown you before, but I will do a full video for you. <clears throat> so guys, our calamari is so tender. Oh, and it cuts like a dream, honestly. And there it is. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, there will be some pics at the end. Thank you for commenting, liking. Please hit that subscribe button. All the links will be below. And my YouTube, or sorry, my Facebook page will uh, also be below. And thank you so much for watching Memories of Malta and the Euro Cooking, Cooking Canuck. And we'll see you next time. Ciao, guys.